We are the family, career, and community leaders of America. Our mission is to promote personal growth and leadership development through family and consumer sciences education, focusing on the multiple roles of family member, wage earner, and community leader. Members develop skills for life through character development, creative and critical thinking, interpersonal communication, practical knowledge, and career preparation. State Leadership Conference is quickly approaching, and now it will be time for us to meet our new state officers. Our state officer candidates for this year are, from Region A, we have five. They are Veronica Lawrence from District Number 1. Kylie Waring from Nebraska City, and her advisor is Mary Johnson. Emma Fortney from District Number 2. Jared Clark from Logan View Chapter, and his advisor is Lindsay Van Norman. Elia Jansen from the Logan View Chapter, whose advisor is also Lindsay Van Norman. From Region B, we have four state officer candidates. The first one is Shelby Stoltz from Saint, the St. Edwards Chapter, whose advisor is Virginia Whitten. Shaylee Stan Shanley from the St. Edward's Chapter, whose advisor is also Virginia Wooden. Callie Lenhoff from the Randolph Chapter, whose advisor is Carol Irwin. Aaron Smith from the West Point Beamer Chapter, whose advisor is Cheryl Gustafson. From Region C, we have six state officer candidates. Jordan Boyles, she's from Loop City Chapter, and her advisor is Tammy Nelson. Kennedy Fitzgerald is from the Kearney Chapter. Her advisor is Carol Kreutzer and Kristen Vest. Erin Keetel, who's from the Neely Oakdale chapter, and her advisor is Cindy Hild. Jocelyn Lem, who's also from the Neely Oakdale chapter, and advisor is also Cindy Hild. Bethany Lambert from the Chambers chapter. Morgan Langdon from the O'Neill chapter, whose advisor is Ann Mann. Our final region of Region D, we have three state officer candidates. They are Mariah Coate from the COZAD chapter, whose advisor is Bonnie Hansen. We also have Cassie Elder from the Hemingford chapter, whose advisor is Suzanne Neef. We also have Ashley Quick from the Alliance chapter, whose advisor is Kathy Clark. To find out more about these state officer candidates, please go to the Nebraska FCCLA website to read more about their biographies. Hey, Nebraska FCCLA. I'm Chandler Klassen. This year's Vice President of Competitive Events. Today, I'm going to be telling you about the election process for state officer candidates and just give you a few tips and help you understand the process just a little bit. Since you've already been to districts, you've got your support and you've sent in the application. So the next thing you need to be working on for state is the preparation. You need to be preparing a two-minute speech over just anything about FCCLA, and you need to be studying so that you do your best on the test. When you get to the state leadership conference in April, the first thing you will do is you will be interviewed 
by Committee of State Officers, District Advisors, and the Board of Directors Chairperson. Now, this might sound intimidating, but don't worry. Everybody on this interview committee wants you to succeed and wants you to do your best. So be confident, stay poised. After you're done with the interview, you will take the test. The test will be over knowledge about SCCLA, such as when SCCLA started, or some of the purposes of SCCLA. So make sure you're studying. After you've taken the test and you've been interviewed by the nominating committee, you will then receive a letter saying if you made the top 16 or not. If you made the top 16, the letter will tell you your schedule for the next day. The next day you will do the fishbowl or a team building activity with seven other people. You will be split up into two groups and be asked to do a team building activity that will be decided later. After you're done with this, you might have some downtime, but eventually you'll have to start back up again. You'll be, you'll be doing your speech in front of everyone at the business and recognition session. And after you're done with your speech, you will be asked an impromptu question. You will be introduced on the stage before your speech, and once all the state officer candidates are done, you will be reintroduced. These two are some of the most important things, because since the voting delegates this year will be voting for eight candidates, they, you truly have to be able to stand out in their minds, since they'll have to listen to 16 speeches and 16 answers for a question. After you're done with the speech and impromptu question, you will pretty much be done. At 11 o'clock, you will receive your letter. When you get your letter, try to go into a secluded room with a few friends and family. Go talk to your advisor, talk to your family if they're there. If you have made it, you'll go to a meeting with the state officers for a short while. Then in the morning, you will also have another meeting talking about your plans for nationals and your official dress for the next year. Get some rest because the next day will be a long one. Remember to check out the Nebraska FCCLA website because it has a lot of information and a lot of helpful hints towards becoming a new state officer. Just remember, don't hesitate to ask your advisors or any of the state officers, such as myself, for any hints or just if you have any questions. So remember, do your best, and I look forward to seeing you all in the